Hello friends, welcome to Crack Kit CSE. And in this series of database, today we'll be discussing types of index. So the types of index has been divided into these four types, and we'll be separately discussing all these four types in this particular video. So if you have not subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel and make sure you have pressed the bell icon so that you can get an update whenever I'm uploading any new video. Now let's start with the types. So the types of index has been divided into four categories on the basis of the ordered field and key. So first thing that we need to consider is field. Another thing that we need to consider is key. If the field is ordered, that means sorted and the particular field is a primary key or a alternative key. That means the particular field that we are considering for indexing has to be ordered and primary key then it is known as primary index if it is ordered but it is not a key then it is clustering and or clustering index if it is unordered and the field is primary key then it is secondary index over key if it is unordered and the field is not a key then it is secondary index over key so we will be discussing each of the each of the four types one by one so now first come on to the primary index in the primary index the search key whatever the key that we are considering for the indexing is known as the search key because we will be performing the search operation based on that particular field so the search key or the field which is used for induction indexing should be ordered and primary or attribute key of the database file this is the first thing primary can index can be dense also and can be sparse also but generally sparse is preferred because of the memory and all right for any relation at most one primary index is possible so at most one primary index is possible for any kind of relation or a database table so here we are discussing an example of a sparse primary index why it is sparse let's see so this is a database file which is having the block factor as 2 because two records in one block and here you can see that this particular field is ordered so these are ordered key and these are the primary key because all these values are distinct they are not repeated so this is ordered and primary key as well now if you have to perform the indexing here we are talking about the sparse primary index and in sparse index what happens is we will be having one pointer and key entries for one block so this pointer and two for this first block this pointer and five for the second block and so on for each block we are having one pointer so here you can see that here we are having a sparse kind of indexing because we are having a, a entry for each particular block right further these blocks will be minimized up to one block so this 2 will be here this 16 will be here so here you can see that this particular indexing is now a sparse primary index right now you have to uh, answer one thing that what if you want to access any particular block how many blocks are required to access any particular key so if you want to access anything you have to start from this particular block let's say i am having a query select asterisk from let's say this is a table employee right and we have to find out select asterisk from employee where id is equals to 40 let's say this is the query that we have to execute right so for that what we need to do we have to first go to here we have to check whether 44 uh, is here or not so here we got this 2 and this 16 and the 4 lies between this 2 and 16 that means we have to go with the 2 so we move with the 2 we came on this particular place now further here you will check where this 4 belongs so here it is 2 here it is 5 so 4 is less than 5 so we will be moving on to 2 now we will be following the second pointer now here you can see that where we got the 4 so how many block axis is required one block for this one block here that means k level because this is two level index so i am having two axis plus one for the database file so this is what written over here io cost to access any record using the primary index 
with multi level indexes k plus 1 block because you have to start from this particular block and you have to move on until unless that particular block is found in the database file if the key is key exists right so this is how the primary index works now let's move on to the second index which is clustering index so in clustering index the search key should be ordered and not a primary key as i told you here let me put it here so in clustering index the field has to be ordered the search key has to be ordered and the particular column is has to be is not has to be a key that means the search key should be ordered and not a primary or a attribute key here the number of entries is equals to the number of cluster what does it mean see here i am having a database file uh, right here it is not a key that means it is allowed to have distinct values right so, and in case if we are having distinct value that means we can form a cluster of these distinct value so here you can see that i am having two thrice three five times four one time five two time and six one time so we can form a cluster of two that means three values in a cluster for two these five values in a cluster for five for three for four there is only one cluster of one value there is a cluster of two values for five and there is a cluster of one value of six now we will be uh, mapping these particular values on the basis of cluster that means for two we will be having one pointer and one entry right so two we are having one entry one pointer similarly for three we are having one entry and one pointer which will be pointing that to that first three for four we will be having one entry similarly for five we are having one entry over here similarly for six we are having one entry so here we first form the cluster on the basis of that particular cluster we are designing a index so that's why it is known as clustering index again after that it will working in the general way that means it has to minimize until unless one particular block is found now see one thing here is clustering clustering index is mostly sparse because if you are having a cluster that means it is sparse only but dense is also possible but there is only one case of dense that means if each cluster is having one single value that means we are having only two only three that means if we are having distinct value there are no repeated values then only the dense clustering is possible at most one clustering index is possible so like the primary index here also at most one clustering index is possible for any database either there will be the primary index or there will be a clustering index both primary and clustering index is not possible right now io cost to access cluster of records using clustering index with multi level indexing is k plus one or more block of database until unless next cluster begins so what does it mean see let's say this is a query select asterisk from employee where its marks over here where marks is equals to three so if you have to perform this particular search initially you will be going on to here you will check me where this three lies so three lies before the six that means here so we'll be moving on to second path we came here now we'll be following the path and we figure out that three is here now we have to go to the respective pointer so we have we came here here it is three now we'll be moving on to the next block to see if there is more three or not so here it is also three here it is also three so if in the end of the block there is a 3 that means we have to check for the next block because there is a possibility of more 3 so here it is a 3 here it is a 3 here it is a 3 that means we have to check for the next block because we have to make sure there are no further threes and if there are more 3 then they have to be retrieved so if you came here now there are no 3 here that means it's the search needs to be stopped so how many levels are here k levels therefore this is k one or more block of database until unless next cluster begins so how many blocks we have access one two three four so k plus four will be the io cost so this is how you can find out the 
IO cost in the clustering index, right? Now let's move on to the secondary index over key. So the secondary index over key needs to have the unordered field and the primary or the alternative key. So the first level index is dense index in this primary index to connect database file and second level onwards we are having a sparse index only. So in all kind of indexing from second level onwards we generally have the sparse index but in secondary index over key first level index will be dense. The IO cost to access record using record using secondary index over key and multi-level indexing is k plus 1. So it will be same as the primary key. It will be same as this particular primary key but this particular section will be dense and rest all will be sparse. Secondary index over key is always dense. So this one will be always dense. Secondary index is an alternative index to access data record even if primary index and clustering index exist. That means if we are having primary index or clustering index, this particular secondary index can be used as an alternative to find out the data record. So there is nothing different in this particular secondary index over key. So I am not discussing it or discussing the image. This is similar to this particular diagram, right? Now let's move on to the last type, last type which is secondary index over non-key. Here we are having something different. So let's discuss that too. So here you can see that the search key should be unordered and not a primary or an alternative key. So in the secondary index over the non-key we are using a one more layer of blocks you can say which is redirect pages so here we will be having unordered field and a not a primary key that means the distinct values are allowed so if there are repeated values what we will be doing we will be creating a separate page for each value so this is the page for 2 this is the page for 3 value similarly this is for 4 5 and 6 so here you can see that we are having three values of 2 so we are mapping these three values of 2 with the respective page with the pointer for 3 we are having five values right so these five values has been mapped to a redirect pages similarly for 4 5 and 6 so this extra layer helps in finding out all the possibilities without checking all the blocks in the linear manner so what will be the k here k is equals to 3 in this particular case right because this will also be considered as a layer of indexing so 1 2 3 now if you, if you have to find out uh, a particular key then what should be the io cost so the io cost using secondary index using secondary index over non key with multi level index because we are having multiple levels with multi level index will be equals to k plus number of blocks access of database file in number of pointer from respective redirect page What does it mean? Let's say we have to find for 3. So we'll be go, you will be going here first. Then you will be coming out to this place. Then you will be coming out to this place. So how many block access till now? 3. That means k which is this. After reaching this redirect page, we have to access all the blocks which are possible from here. So how many blocks are possible from here? First block, second block, third block, fourth block. So k plus Four. number of block access of database file in the pointer from respective redirect page so whatever the pointers you are having in that particular redirect page that will be considered while finding out the io cost right so if you found this particular video useful like this particular video share it with your friends and don't forget to mention your feedback or suggestions in the comment box in case if you are having any queries you can just write 
टू माई फेसबुक पेज ऑफ फेसबुक ग्रुप फॉर दी फर्दर डिस्कशन एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई बी ट्राइंग टू कम अप विद फ्यू प्रीवियस ईयर ग्रेड क्वेश्चन ऑन दीज टाइप्स सो थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग कीप सपोर्टिंग कीप लर्निंग हैव अ ग्रेट डे